Hello there guys, welcome back to my video. And this time around I'm gonna talk about the reskin weapon that was actually showcased in the, the new Genesis headline recently. So a lot of people are talking about other things about in that headline but I wanted to focus more on this weapon instead. So what weapon is it? It is the Evo Orbit weapon series. Now Evo Orbit is similar to Evo Eclipse in terms of like it is available in all weapon types. So if you want a multi-weapon, it's very, very easy to do, especially since this weapon is available in the Seasonal Points Exchange Shop. And not to mention, it actually drops from Seasonal Enemies as well, which in turn means that you can actually farm the fixer versions of it, and you can sell them. That's pretty neat, considering the fact that uh, Six Stars has already been, you know, destroyed by the Seven Stars, but hey, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a given. It's a pretty good starting weapon now especially after the event starts uh, players who are new is definitely going to benefit from this because they can literally skip the whole evil eclipse grind or the the need for the other weapons and not to mention the sector weapon is easily dropped from the enemies that you encounter in quarries so alongside with that you will now have like the sector weapon which is very good for mobbing and now you also have the Evo Orbit weapon series, which is going to be your main boss damage weapon because it is very, very good. Like, it's the strongest 75% variance weapon. Now, of course, you know, 50% is uh, not exactly nerfing the seven stars at all because it's crazy 200 weapon potency differences between the seven star and six stars. But, and let's just, uh, let's just uh, put that at the side first. Considering the fact that you know, Evo Orbit weapon is actually much more stronger than even the Rocks and the Sector series now. I mean, the Sector is still very good at it gains mobs, but uh, Evo Orbit will be the de facto stronger 6 star from now on. I'm not sure if they're gonna add, you know, new, other new 6 stars or new 7 stars, but at this point, there is only one month until we can get the new class and at at that time, I believe there will be more new 7 stars, I believe, that might render the whole meta change again. But for now, I would have to sort of say that if you guys are stuck with like Evil Eclipse rifle and you still haven't find any rocks weapon that you wanted to, you know, use or you have, haven't get a proper Sekto weapon yet, it is probably the best time for you to just wait and get Evil Orbit weapon instead. Or if you are a person who haven't unlocked the Quarries region, you might as well just, uh, once you enter into the Quarries region, you might as well just get this Evo Orbit first before you enter the region because this is the strongest 6-star weapon that you can get so far. And the potency it increases from 22% to 24% in the Evo Orbit series, which is a pretty big deal. I mean, yeah, it's not as high as something like the rock weapons, but it's still something, you know, with a higher potency of 480 on uh, plus 50. It's still a very, very good weapon to start with. Not to mention that you actually have a natural PP recovery speed, just like the same as the Evo Eclipse weapon series, where you can train on your sidestep dodging. And it's generally a very good welfare pp recovery weapon especially if you're not a re pp recovery class like a force class or something it is going to be a very good weapon for you to train your reflexes and not to mention that the weapon also comes with four augments as well for free and those augments are nothing to scoff at they are basically the daytime exploit one which increases 2.5 potency only on daytime uh, it's not the best, but for if you don't really have the funds at all to get, you know, proper affixes or augments, this is actually a very good one for you to add in because it's a new augments, I guess. Next, you have uh, Iradiso 3. It actually adds 2.25 uh, potency for all kinds of uh, attack damage. It's actually a pretty good universal kind of uh, augments, I guess. Next, we also have another universal augment that plus 2.0 to all stats, which is called the Creeper Bow. And then after that, we also have Quad Domina, which is another 
another 2.0 to all stats as well, which is pretty neat to be honest. Now, of course, all these just add up to 8.75 if you include the daytime exploit. Without the daytime exploit, it'd be around 6.2. Now, a lot of people might say, hey, that's not much potency at all. But yeah, this is a welfare weapon. So, you know, stick with it. It's just a budget augments that is available for you from the start, get go. And after you grind it up to plus 50, you can add in the fifth augment, which is making the weapon even better. And probably if you, if you wanted to, you can replace the daytime exploit into another augment of your choice. That way, it would actually be a very viable weapon. And a lot of players might think like, you know, why would they actually release this weapon when, you know, Evil Eclipse is available already? And, well, I don't really know, man. I think probably because they received the backlash from the Rocks weapon being so rare and the uh, requirement for the Rocks weapons to be becoming a fodder, literally, for the Kaiser weapons. And because of those backlash, they probably think like, okay, the, the, the way that we can fix this is to just compensate with the EVO Orbit series being a stronger, you know, the stronger six star weapon, despite being a welfare weapon. Uh, yeah, I guess that's a good gift, maybe. But hopefully, hopefully we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have the same mistake as the Kaiser weapon series again. If Sega is actually continuing with this trend, I'm just afraid that in the future, any new weapons that are dropping from the mobs or the bosses is going to be put on hold until they release a new weapon. Because at this point, I don't really think we can predict what Sega is going to put in next, you know? Especially with the advent of all these seven star weapons just drop at the second day and invalidating all the six star weapons somehow. But at this point of time, I just believe that six star weapons are still decent enough for you to wield and you don't have to worry about like putting in like the death deafness stat because it's still 75% variance so yeah put in every potency stat if you wanted to but don't don't really go full on because I believe after the whole month there will be new weapon series releasing uh, after the whole new class releasing in the next month I suppose this is still going to be the strongest 6 star and yeah that's all i wanted to say about this and for new players i believe this is a very important information so yeah that's all for today and if you like my content please like and subscribe and hopefully i'm able to you know do much more content of ngs in the future sayonara